Hey guys, it's Alyssa and today I want to talk to you about how to breastfeed. Whether this is your first time breastfeeding or whether you're an old pro, um, I was surprised to find out that I did not remember the little things. Breastfeeding becomes very natural and instinctive. Um, your baby just knows exactly what to do, you know exactly what to do, they get better at it as they get older. So surprise, breastfeeding a two-year-old is different than breastfeeding a two-day-year-old. And I did not realize that, didn't think of that going into this. So I want to make this video for new moms or for myself. If I ever have another kid, um, I want this video because I think that I'm a pro breastfeeder, but then I get down to it and I'm like, what's step one? Where should I be? What should I be doing? Where do I line this up? Where, what, what goes where and in what order? And so I just wanted to make this video for me to have or hopefully to help some other moms out. Um, just quick and easy. What are the steps to breastfeeding? Because I get confused, <laughs> especially at 2 a.m. when I'm sleep deprived and she's crying. I just wanna like put her in, put my boob in her mouth and call it done like I would with a two year old or even now as a five month old where she instinctively knows what to do. But man, in those first few weeks, it's not like that. You, the mom, are doing all of the work. You're lining everything up. You're making sure everything is going well. Just a video to remind me and hopefully to help some of you about what are those steps and what should you be doing. So let's dive in. So, we have belly to belly, we have hips, shoulder and ear all pointing up, and then the next thing you want, as far as where your baby should be, which she's bigger, so it's kind of whatever, when they're little, they could be a lot of different places. <laughs> they could be a lot of different places. They could be anywhere you want. <laughs> but you do want, um, you want where your nipple is naturally falling, you wanna line the baby's nose up to that, not their mouth. It makes a big difference. So, um, she's dying, she's so hungry. So I'm gonna unzip my little shirt here. Okay, so I have belly to belly, my pillow supporting my arms. I have hips, shoulder, and knee facing upwards. I'm gonna line my nipple where it naturally falls, not not leaning, not doing any of that, wherever my nipple naturally is, I'm gonna line that up <laughs> to my baby's nose. And this is the cross cradle hold. I'm gonna support her head. I'm gonna take the hand on this side and I'm gonna come from under my breast and squeeze to make a U. So it's a perfect lot, a perfect, like, a perfect bite for her. Not that she's biting. And then I'm going to point my nipple at her nose and then ha I'm going to bring her head to my breast. I'm not gonna bring my breast down. I'm gonna bring her head to my breast, pointing my nipple at the top of her mouth, and then I'm gonna check to see that her lips, her lips are flanged out. She has a good portion of the breast in her mouth. And whenever I'm comfortable, I see that she's comfortable, we're not in pain, I typically come and I switch arms and I have this hand more available. The way that you know your baby has a good latch or they're getting enough food or whatever, all the stresses of breastfeeding. So like I said, you wanna see the lips flanged on the breast. You wanna see, um, she's already falling asleep. I don't wanna hear clicking whenever she is sucking and swallowing. And I wanna see the bottom of her chin really going up and down. So she is you can see when she's sucking and then you can see when she's swallowing so really you want to see like a couple sucks like a, some long drags like mm -mm, and then a hard swallow and if you're watching you can definitely see that like i said you don't want to be seeing clicks you don't want her to be um the seal breaking if you're seeing that there's definitely something wrong with the, um, their latch as far as like tongue tie or lip lock you don't want to be in pain um it's normal to have discomfort especially at the beginning of the latch but if you have pain during the whole nursing session something is wrong additionally when baby comes off if your nipple looks like a brand new lipstick tube like it's compressed on one side and pointed like a new lipstick, something is wrong. Your nipple should look the same going into their mouth that it does coming out of their mouth. Like right now, she's falling asleep actually, so this is very relevant. 
to keep her interested, I'm going to compress my breasts, just not to where it hurts, nothing intense, just a light squeeze to kind of produce more milk into her mouth to kind of wake her go like, oh yes, I need to be eating, I need to be drinking, not sleeping. Um, so if you see your baby, if you see your baby falling asleep or they're just not as interested, just light compressions. And then once she starts sucking, you can stop. The goal is not to drown her. The goal is just to remind her that the delicious food is there for her. Delicious food. You know you're done breastfeeding when um, the baby pulls away because they're full. Um, whenever their hands move from a tight fist to more relaxed, you know that they're full. Um, you also can usually tell for me, like I said, it's like long drags of, of her eating and then at some point it turns into like just like literally like sucking like this. Like she's just doing it for comfort and so just doing it for comfort. There's no like milk coming out. So at that point you would unlatch. And I unlatch by doing what is commonly called the Elvis where she's on the breast and I take her lip and I just pull it up like this. I just do that to her. Um, that way... I'm breaking that airtight seal. I'm never just pulling her off my breast. That would be, that would be rough. How do you know your baby's getting enough breast milk? Um, however many days old they are, that's how many diapers they have. So if they're two days old, they should have two wet diapers up until six days. And then at six days and on, they should have at least six wet diapers a day. And that is the only thing that I keep track of. Um, I don't try to keep track of ounces and how much I'm time and all of that because I get too stressed out. All that I track, all that is really necessary is to know that she's getting enough, she's outputting enough. So she needs to have six wet diapers a day in a 24 hour period. And as long as that's happening, I'm happy. Other things that I would like to remind myself of going into the first couple weeks of breastfeeding is um, obviously you start off with your colstrum, that's not full breast milk. So in order to get your breast milk to come in, your baby is gonna cluster feed. And it's going to feel insane. You're going to be exhausted. Uh, Alyssa, you're going to be hormonal and you're going to be like, what is wrong with her? But remember, she's just cluster feeding, which is like her being comfortable, getting used to the world and the environment, feeling safe at your breast. But also just the way God designed all of this by her feeding so much, by wanting to feed constantly, that's signaling your body to produce milk. So after those intense nights of cluster feeding where she wants to feed like every 30 minutes after that your milk comes in and then you have milk for her yeah i didn't want this to be a super long video i just know that i'm going to want to look back and have this information if i have another kid and um it'd be really helpful to someone else out there potentially again i was like a pro breastfeeder i did not think i was going to have any problems but in the two weeks after having her, I was like, oh man, where do I line this nose up? Like, what is step one? Like, it's just become so instinctive that I didn't remember how to do it as a skill, if that makes sense. And especially if you're a first time mom, I hope this was helpful for you as well. Be sure to check out my other nursing videos. I love breastfeeding. And I know it is totally a blessing and a luxury in the United States of America to be able to breastfeed and especially to be able to breastfeed as long as I have with my babies. Um, but don't give up. You can do it. I believe in you. Drop a comment down below. Leave some encouragement for moms who are come to this video because chances are they're in pain, they're confused, they're worried, or maybe they're just preparing for their future. So let's share in that mom world together. Go, go, go. Breastfeeding can be hard. Being a mom can be hard. Um, so yeah.